Yeah, guys, that's right. You know, it's already well known that OKC has some of the best street art in the entire nation. Well, to create beautiful pieces of work like this, it could have been a long and cumbersome process. Well, thanks to this new rule, that will hopefully not be the case anymore. It has been a long time coming. Excitement among some of OKC's best and most creative artists, including Tiffany McKnight, who has several murals across the city, including this one on the market at East Point on Northeast 23rd. Oklahoma City traditionally has had some really uh, strict permitting. Starting today, the city says most murals no longer require a permit and will not need to be reviewed by the city's art commission. Murals were still being considered almost like an advertisement um, in the same category. The city says they made the changes after feedback from the art community. It's amazing. It's it's such a great step for not only artists here, but also the city. Virginia Seitz is the director of Sunny Days Mural Festival, which is now in its fourth year. She says the red tape around the old permitting process could have taken months to get a mural approved. Either businesses backing out or artists not even wanting to paint what they originally proposed and um, and then artists not even trying because, oh yes, it's such a lengthy and hard process. With OKC being ranked as the best city for street art in both 2021 and 2022, these artists can't wait for this new streamlined process to continue OKC's colorful future. The hope for the city to become even more of an arts and culture hub than it already kind of has been the past five years. More murals everywhere, uh, which I think only adds to the positive vibe that we already got going here in Oklahoma City. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting time. Well, this does not mean, though, that just anyone can go and place art wherever they want. They obviously have to own the building or get permission from the owner. Also, if someone wants to put a mural in one of the entertainment design districts, that does require some special permi permitting still.